Hi friends, in the last two to three years, paper stocks in India have been giving massive rallies. For example, if you see West Coast paper mills in the last three years have given 360% returns. Look at Andhra paper share prices and they have appreciated by 246% in last three years. Also Ruchira papers have given close to 220% returns in just last three years. What is causing this massive rally in paper stocks? We are going to understand that. Also will this rally continue for the next two to three years? We are going to understand that and more importantly there are more than 42 paper stocks right now listed on Indian exchanges. We are going to shortlist the quality stock so that you can learn a lot about paper stocks and and take informed decisions when it comes to investing in paper stocks. With that, let's get this video started. During COVID time, paper stocks were struggling big time. They were all time low and there were few reasons for it. For example, during COVID, schools and colleges were completely shut down. So the paper that was needed for studies was completely not needed. And more and more corporates also went digital during the COVID time period, leading to a very, very low demand when it comes to paper. Not only the demand for the paper, but also the raw material prices for for example for waste paper doubled during the COVID times also freight and shipping costs were almost three times during that time but more importantly in November 2021 EU came up with a new regulation wherein they banned waste paper export to India and this was a very serious blow to paper industry in India because in India 65% of paper is made using the waste paper and 70% of waste paper is what we import from countries like US and Euro. Because of these reasons, Indian paper industry was almost about to give up during the COVID time period. So what changed since then that has caused massive rallies in the stock prices of the paper stocks? Well, first of all, in April 22, Europe lifted the ban. And you know what they said? They said that it was a clerical mistake that they did in the regulation itself, so they should not have actually put the ban in the first place. Secondly, after COVID, as the economy opened, the schools, the corporates, everybody started to use the paper back. But more importantly, the e-commerce segment after the COVID boomed like anything. And if you see my screen, you will see that 55% of the paper that we produce in India is used for packaging. And this is where the huge demand is coming in the last two years. But the million dollar question is that, will this rally in paper stocks continue or not? And if you read the comments from executive director from Padamji paper products, what Mr. Ashok Kumar is saying that moving away from single use plastic is a huge opportunity in the coming years for paper industry because currently around 40% of all the packaging is done using the plastic material and that is what is going to get replaced in the coming years giving paper industry another boost. So in my view for the next five to seven years paper industry stocks are going to do really well because of the removal of plastic from the ecosystem. So far, if you're liking this video, I request you to hit the like button. You can also consider subscribing to my channel. But the million dollar question is, which are the quality paper stocks? For this, I'm going to share a simple method to shortlist quality paper stocks using my screener. Have a look at my screen. I am on ticker tape, a very good screener that you can also use. So what we are going to do is shortlist quality paper stocks. So first thing that we are going to do is go into the sector here and type paper and you will get material as paper products here. Simply select it. This will give you 42 paper stocks. All these are paper stocks, which is what we need to analyze. The second criteria that I would use is I will only shortlist those stocks that have market cap of more than at least 100 crores. So that gives me 24 stocks because I do not want to invest in stocks that are really, really tiny and have market cap less than 100 crores. So at least they need to have more than 100 crores of market cap. The next simple criteria that I would use is net profit margin. So let me go ahead and add that here. So let us go ahead and add net profit margin. And this is the last financial year's net profit margin. Let me go ahead and add that. And I will only consider those stocks that have given me minimum 5% net profit margin. That is not too much to ask for. So let us go ahead and add that here. So any stocks that have given me more than 5% of net profit margin, that gives me 17 stocks. The third criteria that I would like to use is promoters holding. So let me go ahead and add that here. So we are going to add promoters holding as well as pledged promoters holding. So let me add both of them here. Now from a promoters holding perspective, I will only consider those stocks that have majority stock by promoters because what it does is it gives me a lot of confidence that the promoters have high stake in the company because these are all low market cap companies if you see their market cap. So I will only consider those stocks which have close to 50% of promoters holding. So let me go ahead and put 49% here just so that there is any stock that has got 49 point some percentage that is also included here. So that gives us 30 stocks that has more than 49 percentage of their stake 
held by the promoters moving on to the next criteria which is promoter pledges so i will only consider those stocks that have got not more than five percent of their stakes pledged by promoters so i will only consider those ones so let me put zero to five percent here because lower the promoter stakes are pledged better it is from the company's perspective because what it tells me is that the company is able to raise the debt without having to pledge the promoter stake pledging simply means that promoters have to keep their stocks as the security against the loans or the debt the company is raising which is not a good sign that they have to go and raise the debt by putting Putting their stakes as a security because of this reason i'm only going to consider those stocks that have low promoter stakes pledged and i'm only going to consider five percent that gives me total nine stocks that are having less promoter stakes pledged now let us talk about the valuation that out of these nine stocks which are the stocks which are relatively undervalued from a sector valuation perspective for that what i'm going to use a simple filter called pe minus sector p you will not find this filter on ticker tape you will have to create a custom filter for that so let me go ahead and add this this is simply PE minus sector PE meaning I only want to consider those stocks where the PE of the stock is lower than the sector PE so I'm only going to filter it out so I'm only going to select those ones where the value is negative here so let me go ahead and put that filter here and that gives me total eight quality paper stocks let me read out the names for these eight stocks number one JK paper limited West Coast paper mills limited Andhra paper limited Satya Industries Limited, Padamji Paper Products Limited, Ruchira Papers Limited, Shreyans Industries Limited, Shri Ajit Pulp and Paper Limited. By the way, these are not the recommendations. What we are going to now do is have a look at few other criteria and try to rank these eight stocks in terms of the quality of these stocks. So for this, one thing that I would like to check is ROCE of these stocks. So return on capital employed, paper industry being capital intensive in terms of they needing plants, they needing land, etc. We need to make sure the return on capital employed is looking healthy. So let us go ahead and add that in here. Also, I would like to check the debt of these companies as well. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add debt to equity, one of the important ratios, lower this debt to equity ratio is better the company's balance sheet is from a debt perspective so let us go ahead and add that here so i've added debt to equity as well and lastly i would also like to check the track record of last five years profitability of these stocks so for that what we are going to do is we are going to add net profit margin which is last five years average net profit margin let us go ahead and add that so far if you're liking this video i request you to hit the like button you can also consider subscribing to my channel let's now try to arrange these stocks in the order of some of these important parameters so the first being roce if i arrange these by roce you will see that west coast and andhra has given really good roce in the last year also if you look at the debt to equity ratio so let me filter by debt to equity and let us arrange from lowest to highest so from lowest debt to equity perspective again andhra paper west coast paper has given the lowest debt to equity followed by ruchira papers if you arrange these in the order of five years average net profit margin from highest to lowest so let us go highest to lowest here you will see again andhra paper jk paper and west coast paper are the top three paper stocks from a net profit margins perspective if you consider five years average returns also if we arrange these from a valuation perspective pe minus sector pe from that perspective andhra paper seems to be the most undervalued right now followed by shreyans industries and at number three is west coast paper mills limited what you will notice is that in many of these parameters andhra paper west coast paper jk paper they have come consistently in the filters that i've shown you to me, out of these eight stocks, these three might be quality stock given the past history. This is not at all a stock recommendation. In fact, what we need to do is we need to do the fundamental analysis of each of these stocks before we make any investing decisions. So here is my ask from you. Please let me know in the comments top three paper stocks out of these eight stocks that you would like me to do fundamental analysis and what I will do is I will create part two of this video talking about details of those particular three stocks. Let me read out the names of all the eight stocks again. It is Andhra Papers Limited, Shreyans Industries Limited, West Coast Paper Limited, JK Paper Limited, Ruchira Papers Limited, Satya Industries Limited, Shri Ajit Pulp and Paper Limited, Padamji Paper Products Limited. Let me repeat one more time. This is not a stock recommendation at all. Let me know in the comments any three stocks that you would like me to analyze and create a part two of this video i'll be more than happy to shoot a full fundamental analysis of those three stocks also you can consider subscribing to my youtube member community because i post in-depth exclusive analysis on stocks mutual funds and various other assets that will help you understand a lot about investing i also request you to watch this video because this video will help you understand a lot about investing in stocks i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful i will see you in my next video until then 
Keep rocking.